folks in this episode we are going to be talking about prisms and pyramids now basically a prism i want you to know that a prism is any um any solid shape that has a flat top and a flat bottom that is my own definition it is a very easy to understand um definition once you see any object that has a flat top and a flat bottom you can safely assume that it is a prism but not every object with a flat top and a flat bottom is a prism so but this is one characteristic some flat bottom flat topped objects are prism not all but this is just one of the general ways you can identify them so in this case we have that a prism is um, named according to the shape of its base so the edges are parallel to one another so you can see now that the edges are parallel to one another so you can see these edges these are the edges they are parallel so this is another property of prisms so if you're having issues trying to identify them just know that anytime you have parallels like this it is going to be a prism but in this case you can see that when we talk about the pyramid they are not parallel so they are meeting they are converging lines but prisms they are characterized by um the um the, the, the um the edges which are parallel to each other so they are they never meet so parallel lines that never meet and then they have the shape of their base so a line passing through the center of each um is called the axis so when you have a line passing through the center of each of these um, parallel heights it's called an axis so this doesn't have it because this is a square prism doesn't need that then this hexagonal prism so then we have the centers these are these are the base and this is these are the um these are the um the um heights so this is the base and this this these prisms they are often named according to their base so in this case you can guess that this is because it has a triangle as the base it is called a triangular prism so this one because it has a square as a base because it is called a square prism then and another um this square prism is can also be known as a cuboid it's a special um kind of shape then we also have the hexagonal prism so it has a hexagon as the base but in the case of um of pyramids in pyramids we have um they are they are they don't have um parallel heights so a pyramid is also named according to the shape of its base so that's true and it has sloping sides meeting at a point called the apex so this top where this point meets this top this highest point is called the apex look at the apex these are the apices so now it has sloping sides yes which is vertically above the center of the base the the um, axis passes through the center of the base and the apex so this axis passes through the center of the base so this is the center of the base and the apex so it connects this, the apex with the center of the base so this one we don't need it because it's a square prism so this is called triangular prism because it has a triangle as a base a square prism sorry a square pyramid rather which it because it has a square as the base so these pyramids they have um, the sloping sides and they are also named according to their bases so this is all for this video and i hope you've learned one or two things on prisms and pyramids i hope to see you next episode